Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have another quick tutorial for Canva. And this tutorial is going to be another feature of the Magic Studio. So here I have Canva opened, and if I go to Magic Studio on the left panel right here, if you follow my mouse, which is the yellow blob, if you click on Magic Studio, you can come to, you know, all of the features and, you know, apps available um, in Magic Studio. And one of the um, apps that is available there for Canva Pro members is the Magic Morph. So in order to use that, um, you can click this one. Um, magic morph or I'm going to show you in a second how to access it from a design but before that just um, just a quick overview of what magic morph is it's exactly what it says it's just it's AI so all of the magic um, applications are basically AI applications and the magic morph is it can take an element and morph it into you know something um, like a shape it, it keeps the original shape but then it adds more to it and I'm going to show you in a second what I mean by that so let's go to a design a canva design window and let's add some shapes so I'm going to go to elements and I will add a few shapes from here so let's say this one right here let's give it a background color so we know what's going on um, or maybe this one and then let's add some other shapes let's add a circle just giving it a different color so we can tell them apart and then let's um, try, let's actually try a letter. Um, so just any letter, um, let's say P, then make it big so we know what is what. And here's how we're going to access Magic Morph. So we're going to go to the Apps tab right here, and then we will start typing magic morph in the search bar and then right here uh, you will see magic morph so click that and then it kind of guides you through um, you know the process so the first number one is select an element in your design so you can select any of these elements so let's click the circle first and then number two describe the look so um, let's say this is a circle. Um, let's say I want a rainbow colored balloon. And then I will click Magic Morph. It takes some time, basically, the AI to take your input and then interpret it and then create something from that, from that prompt. Um, so let's just wait a little bit. So as you can see, it gives four different options um, to choose from. And then it, it gave me exactly what I asked for it. I, I wanted a rainbow colored um, ball, so it gave me four different options. So let's click this one. And I'm going to just get rid of the original element. So I have now this this ball it's a rainbow colored ball and it just took the shape of the element the, sh the round shape and then it just transformed it into um, kind of a 3d shaped object it morphed that shape into a 3d object based on my prompt so let's now try with um, this P let's click magic morph again go back and then let's see what do I want the P to be let's say um, a slimy a pink slimy shape okay um, I'm just 
coming out coming up with these ideas on the spot kind of so I'm not gonna be very um, creative about these prompts right now I didn't think it through before I started creating this video so let's wait and see what comes up all right so it's okay it's not the best um, let's click this one it's fine it didn't do as good of a job as the ball but it's okay our prompt was a pink slimy shape so this one is not exactly um, all that slimy but whatever you know you get the you get the idea you might want to play around with your prompt a little bit until you get exactly what you want um, that's the basically the nature of all AI prompts um, you kind of have to try things out and see what works um, let's try one last one, this star shape. So, um, let's say a blue, um, a blue, what should I call it? Um, tree bark, um, textured shape. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's try. The only downside is that it takes such a long time, but then again, you know, you have to consider all the things that are happening in the background. Hey, this actually did a pretty decent job, especially the last one, this one. Uh, let's give it a different background color so we can see. See, this is not too bad. Our prompt was a blue tree bark textured shape. So the texture is kind of tree bark like, um, and it's also blue. So yeah, it's it's done a pretty decent job. So yeah, that's it. That's how you use Magic Morph. So you know you can add a shape and then um, just tell Magic Morph what kind of 3D shaped object you want it to be, what, what you want it to look like, and then based on the element that you have chosen, it's going to create with that shape, it's going to give you something like a 3D textured or whatever, um, a morphed version of that based on your prompt. Um, again, um, it's just it's just something uh, cool, and you can play around with it, and uh, maybe you can you know use it in your design, um, especially when working with clients. If they want something very specific, you know, specific type of design, um, it used to be that you would have to create these from scratch using Photoshop or something like or Illustrator. Um, but now with these AI tools um, embedded within Canva, you can easily access a variety of different um, features and apps like this. And it's just really easy. All you have to do is, you know, get a, get better at uh, writing better prompts. And that's pretty much it. And it comes with a little bit of practice, um, you know, the creating the, the writing the best prompt to describe exactly what you want but eventually if you use it enough times you will you'll keep getting better at it you'll you'll start getting a hang of you know how to write better prompts um but yeah anyway that's that's what magic prompt magic morph is and um hopefully you'll have some fun with this feature i will see you in a different video at a different time bye